What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I will explain the steps in getting the Polaris Lance and on your way to getting this exotic you will also be getting the Braytech RWP Mark II SCAD which looks epic by the way. But hey guys before we get into that if you would like to support that channel hitting that like button does help out and I do appreciate that support. Okay so if you haven't completed the story or adventures on Mars and any extra missions Annabrae gives you within the Warmind DLC you need to so go ahead and do that then come back here if you have then you will have already got or done last week's one of five of the nascent dawn quest step given by Anna Bray. steps for part one can be seen on screen now they were honestly quite straightforward this week upon going to Anna Bray, you will get step two of five of the nascent dawn quest step the first part is to get 25 Valkyrie kills. To make this a little easier on yourself people if you have any Rasputin armory code simply start up an escalation protocol and simply spawn in a Valkyrie. You should be able to get this done within one or two escalation protocols. Once you have the 25 Valkyrie kills, you then have to move on to and do step two, which is to complete the heroic adventure, Sonic Potential, which isn't the easiest thing to do, I'm not gonna lie. Once this is completed, the next step is to go into the lost sector within the glacial drift area, as I do on screen. Halfway through this, you will see a node which you have to collect. Once you've done that, the next step is to simply head back to Anna Bray and here you need to insert this data into the servers and then speak to Anna Bray herself. She will then reward you with the Braytech WRP Mark II Scout Rifle and as we can see on screen now, it is identical to the Polaris Lance. Now this is all the quest steps for this week. Next week will be step 3 of 5 which will consist of Part 1, this iteration is looking for new data. The specific frequencies that are related to the hive. Look for areas where Rasputin has initiated the escalation protocol. Step 2, the module has successfully connected to cb.nav but it seems to be queuing for data on Vanguard initiatives. Obviously this isn't data that cb.nav was designed to handle. It will need to be acquired by manually spinning up strike protocols. Objective, Vanguard strikes completed. So you'll have to complete Vanguard strikes here. Part 3, the module requires interface with a unique code in Olympus Descent. The signal is fairly strong, meaning that the node may not be buried in an icy cavern. So you have to find here a cache in the Olympus Descent. Part 4, the module has unlocked another log for Anna Bray. It can be uploaded to Anna's personal server in the Bray facility. And part 5 is to return to Anna Bray herself for the specific reward she has for you. Which we don't know what that is as of yet. The week after which will be week 4 will consist of Step 1. These modules have become more curious as though they were an intelligent entity gathering data through them. Testing limits and prodding at boundaries. This one is requesting telemetry on prototype weaponry through cb.nav. It's yet another data type that the system wasn't designed to handle. Objectives. Precision multi kills without reloading kills with prototype scout rifle. So here you have to get kills with Raytex scout rifle. Part 2. The module is now requesting data from a warm mine vault not located on Mars. Currently the only system of all is the one on IO. Objectives. Complete mission. Fury on IO. Part 3. After connecting to cb.nav, the module is requesting Rasputin's mine lab. Telemetry suggests that it's near Rasputin's doorstep. Part 4, the module has unlocked another log for Anna Bray. It can be uploaded to Anna's personal server in the Bray facility. And part 5, again, visit Anna Bray and she will reward you again. And week 5 people will consist of Part 1, the module requires stabilization from the Rasputin neural net. Using the Valkyrie will open up the next layer of data and you need Javelin multi kills. Part 2, the module has stabilized. But it have immediately become more suspicious. It has begun requesting entries, unguarding combat patterns, kills, deaths, resurrections, everything. Objectives, PvP matches completed. Part 3 here, there is yet another layer of data within the module, repairing a lot of log entries on the hive. The volumes request may require rethinking normal scouting protocols, perhaps disrupting a major ritual is in order. Objectives, Hive Ritual Disrupted Part 4 The module requires interface with a sleeper node in Autumn Dynamo. CB.nav seems to be associating it with several dozen server crew. Objective here, cache found in Autumn Dynamo. Part 5 The module has unlocked another log for Anna Bray. It can be uploaded into Anna's personal server in the Bray facility. Part 6 The module is spent. Anna Bray will continue tinkering with it, but in return for recovering her memories, she has finished construction on what she is calling the production line model of the rifle prototype she gave you and you are rewarded here the Polaris Lance for visiting Anna Bray and that is all five steps of this people 
Now the reward at the end will no doubt be Polaris Alliance, but what you get for week 3 or week 4, step 3 and step 4, we don't know yet. I'm probably guessing we may have something new to come, but we will just have to wait and see people. Now the Polaris Lance in my opinion needs to be something of a special weapon because 5 weeks of waiting for something that will just be vaulted will be a complete waste of time and it will not do Bungie any favours. But guys, like I said, only time will tell. But yeah people, this is how you get the Polaris Lance Exotic Scout Rifle. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like, it truly does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on the next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand